right, in a couple of minutes, we'll meet Bijou Phillips, who is uh, the daughter of Papa John Phillips. She's been modeling since she's like, Robin tells me, since she's like 10 or something. 13 is 13. what I read, yeah. And, uh, but she's mostly known for getting into trouble <laughs> and stuff. I don't know, for like having bad behavior at nightclubs. Causing <laughs> bodily injury. I would like to have some bad behavior at nightclubs. I've never had the, uh, the opportunity. I go and I'm all well behaved. I, I guess You're I'm repressed. You're not stabbing people or clipping off the ends of people's fingers? No, I'm very repressed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm. You gotta let loose. <laughs> you know, I'm way too serious. How <laughs> are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good pleasure. Does he, does he want to know? I'm not sure. Okay. Right. Right. Want to okay. bring it here? Okay. Just for a second. Here is uh, Bijou Phillips. Who, uh, was she's now all an actress. Yeah, she's been in Bijou, some movies. Stuff. Any place? She tells me. Hi, how are but you? we'll find out. And I know she's nervous about the interview because um, I met her with uh, Courtney Love. She is like best friends with her. Up oh, there's Bijou. Hi, Bijou. <laughs> Very attractive girl, right? Don't you think? And she's in Playboy. She's on the cover. On the cover of Playboy. Hi, Bijou. Hi. Hi. All right, take the gum out of your mouth. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can see Bijou nude. She's completely naked in the April issue of Playboy and magazine. She's only 19, hey right? Hi. Hi and Bijou, there. I didn't know you were a model. Where did you model? Were you on the runways or something? Oh, God. I just like for like three months. For three months? Yeah. Don't you think she's kind of cute? She's very cute. Yeah, she's real cute. But how do you liberate yourself if you only model for three months? Because it was, I don't know. I, I she liberated herself from her right parents, now. right? Right. Well, then I, they just, I don't know, I did, like, four jobs. Yeah. But they were, like, really, like, good, like, Calvin Klein and Vogue. I oh. Don't know. And, then, and then I got really, it was, like, uh, You didn't like it. Yeah, She's a wild child. And the grossness and, it, you know, people and the attitudes and the whole flamboyant and everybody Are you nervous? About everybody. You're yeah. nervous, aren't you? Well, calm down. We'll t take, a, take a deep breath. I okay. She's a wild child. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that she's more than just wild. I don't think she's ever been raised. <laughs> yeah, you probably haven't been raised by him because your father's Papa John, who's like, you know. Then what could he have done? He ain't the father of he the was year. He in rehab. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he put you in rehab or something and you weren't even on drugs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he wanted all his I children to be in rehab. rehab. No, I didn't. Because <laughs> I got scared because I tried, like, you know, a drug and I got really freaked out by You don't do drugs, do you? No. People, you see, maybe people have misconceptions Every about you. But I thought she was on drugs. <laughs> when I would read about it, <laughs> I would say, oh, another Phillips on drugs. No, it's like 14, you know, 15. Like uh -huh. anybody at 14 or 15, you know. When Ask you Drew Barrymore. She had to rehab at 13. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, so you're left alone in New York City, and you've got money, and people are like... But you don't do drugs. Modeling, and people are like, oh, come to this party, come to that party, and you go, and you're like, oh, wow, I'm at a party. And So in other words, let me, let me back up here, because I want to understand something. Yeah. All right, all right. I, I, don't, I don't follow this. In other words, when you're a kid... Right, you're like 13 years old. Uh -huh. You get a modeling job. I was in I was in boarding school. You were in boarding school. And where is that? In England? No, in in upstate. In no, in in Ojai, Ojai Valley boarding school. Okay, so you're in boarding school because what? In your parents school. didn't want you around. Yeah, and I, and so I get this job. Bruce Weber wants to put me on the cover of an interview. How did right. he find you? Because he was at this horse show that I was riding. I was like a horseback rider. Uh huh. So he was at this horse show and he saw me riding and he took pictures and then he wanted to. Pr Book me for this Did job. he want you because you were Papa John Phillips' yeah. daughter? Oh, okay. Oh, that's what it was about. It wasn't because... It wasn't about you. But I only did it for like three months. It was like, you know, I was 13. My dad's like, okay, you can go to New York and model, or you can, you know, fucking stay in boarding school. Oh, oh. Don't use the F word. Right. We're on the radio. There's John's right. parenting, though. All right. All right. <laughs> so, you're, you're fa so you were 13 years old. Thir I was like maybe 14. All right. Maybe. And then when you start modeling at 14, you get invited to go to clubs? Because you, because your reputation was you would go to clubs and be a wise ass, right? Yeah. All right. So you would go to you the. Know, these guys would come and they hit on me and like you know they're all high and they think they can just hit on grab you, grab you and touch you and like pull you down, hey baby, and and I just wasn't about that. I was. So you were fighting them off. Yeah. But why go to the clubs if you're not about that? Because you know you don't have to be subjected to that. You can. There's other. 
sections, but if you're not, you know, going to go home with every guy you see, you get a reputation for being like mean. Well, we'll back up for a second. Cool. Do you believe that a 13-year-old, your beeper's going off, do you believe, <laughs> <laughs> do you believe that a 13-year-old should be allowed into these clubs in the first place? Probably you, you don't even no, believe. No, of course right. not. And, you're, if you had a, and if you had a responsible parent at home. Yeah, if somebody was right. saying, be home by my poor Nine. dad. Your parents would. Well, your poor your dad, poor please. Dad. He's, you know, bad. please. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're, you're the you're luckiest man on earth. <laughs> right. So you mean to tell me that? Yeah. You know, I'd like to have no responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> and your kids still love you. Right. Yeah, that's why I don't. I I'm not going to pay. Love him. I'm I not going to pay attention dad. to my kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're being too good. How often did you see your father? Like once a year? No. Would no. you recognize him if we put him in a lineup? <laughs> <laughs> How often did you see your father? Oh, I saw my dad all the time. But then, you know, it got, you know, I wasn't like nine and like idolizing him anymore. So right. he wasn't into it. Okay. I, as soon I, as I, you I went stopped nuts. being like the uh, obedient. See, when I was like twelve in yeah. Palm Springs. You and started being rebellious. Like sick, and I was. He was sick. He had that liver transplant. Right. And I was like twelve, you know, and right. I was, you know, smoking pot and going nuts, and you know, having people climbing through the windows, and he got this big blowtorch, and he low torched all my windows shut like all the metal <laughs> all in my room and all down the hallway so i couldn't get out of the house wow it was horrible you mean to tell me your father had a blow torch the window <laughs> shut now here's a guy who's a party guy who was completely wild and he's busy blow torching <laughs> your window shut <laughs> that's beautiful and I'm sitting there at the corner and i wanted to be like really pugged so i only had like a mattress and a television in my room right and it, the walls were painted red and i wore all black and i just like would sit there and like you were angry. Wow. I was yeah. angry as hell. Yeah. You're, angry. You're still angry. Yeah. And I would just like uh. be shaking there crying, and he'd be like, blow towards you in the window shut. <laughs> like, right, <laughs> right. So you were a wild child, and he, as wild as he was, he probably didn't like having to be no, a parent. He was sick. He was yeah. done. He but was he didn't like want to be a parent. 60. He's a child himself. He didn't yeah. want to be a parent. Okay, so. so This was a problem he hadn't bargained for. All right, so. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, he knew. He knew. He's already, you know, with Mackenzie. He's, yeah. He's now, Mackenzie's care. mother is not your mother. Who is your no, mother? My mother's Genevieve. Genevieve. I think I met. No, we lived, we lived down the like right across the street. From Mackenzie? No, from here. From oh, from here. Yeah, we live right down there. And I remember walking through that court, like that big thing. Yeah. Going to some Indian restaurant with my dad when I was like nine. Yeah. And you you lived near here, and Mackenzie, you would see her. She's your half sister. Yeah, we'd see her every now and then. Right. Do you see China? China Phillips. No, because China got like the good life. China lived with Michelle, and she she's different. Lived in LA. Yeah, she had. She was saying, "I just held China's baby last night." You did. Yeah, and uh, it's yellow. It's got that that thing. Mm, What's it called? Billy Rubin. What's the thing where they have to put him in the lights? Jaundice. 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 Yeah. It's got jaundice, but it's so cute. Did I you like cried? And I watched the birth on this little video camera. How long before they'll have to? Minutes. How long before they're gonna have to blow torch the window shut Five on that kid? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you do see Mackenzie and you do see China. I saw Mackenzie in China last night. All right, and and um, and you get all, you even get to go over to China and Billy Baldwin's place and hang out with them. Yes. They allow you. So and your they reputation. They stay there every time I go. They do, even though you're they wild. No, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm now over you're mellow. It. Yeah, you're I'm over mellow. the wildness. I've you're been not over wild. Three years now, but the only thing that, like, you know. People, you know, they, they, they something Keep gets printed up the like five years ago. Right. They, they, you know, every interview is like, well, so you were crazy for uh, three months in New York. <laughs> but what do you think? Before you said you didn't do I'm drugs. 40, so you're nuts. And but before you didn't do drugs, but n but you're saying you for a while you smoked a lot of pot. No, when I was in Palm Springs and I was a kid. Right. I was doing acid like oh, every you were. Thursday. So maybe that's why they put you in rehab. No, no, because they put me in rehab like a year and a half, two years later. Why did they put you in rehab? Because I tried. I was like doing coke every now and then, and then I tried <laughs> heroin. Right. But she doesn't do And then do I called no. my dad. Yeah. Three days. Th well, what happened was I'd found a. You snorted card heroin. Number. You tried heroin. I tried heroin. You for snorted th it. Three days I did heroin, and mm -hmm. I found his credit card number, and I spent like six thousand dollars on stuff like for like months earlier. Right. And then my stepmother calls me, who's Iranian, and she's like, "Bijou, your father knows about the credit card." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "He's gonna kill you," and I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> And then I didn't know what to do, and I knew I had heroin in my system because I tried it three days before, and I'm like, I'm a junkie. I need to go to rehab. And right, so you got out. nervous, and you checked yourself that was in. My out. All right, okay, so and so far, so coke, heroin, pot, and acid. Okay. But I don't do drugs. All right, okay. <laughs> but I'm over it now. <laughs> all right. I so got it out of my system. All right, so, but, so you, you've, in a way, had a very unusual life. You're, very, you're older than your years, in a way. You yeah. seem to know a lot of stuff. I've talked you to you a lot. You took care of yourself. Right. I told Robin that we spoke. Yeah, well, I had to learn how to, like, you know, wash... 
clothes and deal and like grow up because no one really you know my dad was sick uh-huh. he was right. had a liver transplant cancer two hip replacement surgeries like and where was your mom during all this my mother's like you know she South had problems and i see so so but i love her she's great you do love her okay all right. love well her. you know what i'm trying too hard with my kids <laughs> you see yeah, they can relax, be fine if you just leave yeah, she's mom. fine what's wrong with her <laughs> she's doing fine she's self-sufficient all right so, so you're a young kid and you start going to these clubs and a lot of these clubs a lot of people would like to go to and here you are a 13 year old girl and guys are hitting on you and even though you don't like the guys hitting on you you seem strangely attracted to going back to these clubs it becomes your life. In a way, you were famous well, for no, being a club. It was like, you know, my dad and my brothers and sisters would tell me about, like, oh, we'd go out and dancing in Studio 54. And, like, it, w- it was, you know. It was they exciting. glamorized he, he, it. They glamorized it for me. And then when I was like, I want to do that, mm. I want to be, you know. But you still like doing that. Even when I was with you in California. Yeah, you know, on Grammy night, yeah. Yes. You like out. going to all these uh, parties and yeah, on Grammy night. And you like all the famous friends and stuff. You hang around with Courtney Love. You like that, right? I love Courtney. You love her. Yeah, yeah, she's so smart and she like you know gives me great advice on everything. Right. Do you have any fr- friends who aren't famous, or is it mostly yeah, famous all my friends? friends aren't famous. Oh, they are. Okay. All right. My best friend Emily. All right. Hunter's not really famous. I see. <laughs> so there's a lot of people who aren't really famous. Yeah. You're not just some kid who goes to clubs all the time. No. And yet we hear these but stories. I have a record and I you know do movies all the right. time. Right. Now what movies yeah, have you where done? Where did your record go? Yeah. Where is your record? My label is like the biggest nightmare on the planet. What is the label? Almo. Elmo? Elmo. Yeah, Elmo. The yeah. Elmo label? Elmo. Elmo sounds like A and M. Elmo. Albert Moss. Is it, oh, I see. Is it related to A and M? They sold it to Polygram, and then they started Elmo. So your album never took off. No, because you they have didn't a good have voice. I've heard you sing. To do it, they didn't have the financing to like promote something like that. They couldn't pay for any of my tours. They couldn't pay for anything. I heard you and Courtney uh, singing in the car to different uh, songs on the radio. How funny was that? Yeah, and it both no, sounded very good. when we thought it was Courtney singing on the radio. Right. And it was blasted, and I'm like, are you sure this is you? I can't tell. And she's like, I know my voice. And then we turned it up, and it was Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> it was very strange. I thought it was her, too. <laughs> it was very strange. All right, so, but what about these weird stories about you going to a club and, like, clipping off a guy's fingertip? Is that oh. true? I, I don't believe that. Yeah, well, okay. I was a little drunk. I found this <laughs> cigar cutter, <laughs> yeah. and it went up to, like, 15 people. You know, I was like, I dare you to stick your finger in this. And they're like, yeah, right, that's a cigar. It's a cigar cutter. You don't right. stick your finger in a cigar cutter, especially if, like, if you're well, holding I'm, it. I'm holding it. <laughs> right. This dumb guy who had been hitting on me forever, and he's like, what does it do? What do you mean he's like hitting on you? What what does like he do? He's like, you know, can I take you to dinner? He was attracted you know? to you. Why be yeah. down on that? Why are you well, why are girls no big deal. Yeah, but no why are big deal. No All right. big deal. I don't care. Why are girls mad mean? when a guy is no, attracted? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. I didn't care. What no big deal. He was hitting on me, just you know. Mm-hmm. So I go up to him he and I'm like, lose a finger on this. He's like, Well, what does it do? And I was like, What do you think it does? It's a cigar cutter. And he goes, I don't know. And he sticks his finger in there. I'm like, you're an idiot. You stick your finger in there. So I cut his finger off. You cut his finger off. Almost off. Almost off. Oh, Did he go to the hospital? The best part of the story is, and yeah. then afterwards, he like wrapped it. I got him a tissue, and he wrapped it. And he's like, well, now you have to go to dinner with me. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, mean he still wants it. my number. <laughs> he <laughs> still. W- you should have gone to dinner with him. I mean, you took his finger off. <laughs> and what about this guy who you stabbed in the leg? <gasps> he's my best friend, and oh. he was like, <laughs> it was Valentine's That's why I told Day. You it not wasn't to be a party. You haven't, but but you haven't murdered anyone yet, have you? Uh, no. Okay. Do you think that could happen? <laughs> OJ doesn't have a past like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Valentine's Day, and he was, like, pinning me down and, like, wrestling me, and, like, it was bad. And I got really mad. And then I grabbed this kitchen knife, and I was just pretending to, like, stab at him, like, right. joking around. And yeah. I was like, don't ever do this to me again. And I was, like, holding the knife at him, and he kicks me. And I, I block myself, and he hits the knife. And he's not mad, and he totally loves me. All he right. knows it's his fault. Not his fault. It's you know mutual thing that right. You know. Whatever. I see. Okay. These all right. things just happen, Howard. It I just happens. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see who's on the oh phone. No. Brian, you're on the phone with Bijou Phillips, and she is in Playboy. And I tell you something, it's quite an impressive now, why spread. Why are you in Playboy? Well, Howard. Why not? Well, let's hear what he has to say. Then we'll find out. Look, go ahead. Yeah. What is it, Brian? Howard. Yeah. I I got the Playboy on Saturday, and I finished my self talk to it now several times. You did. You actually, well, now that's exciting. You pleasured yourself yep. to the uh, magazine. Now, I, I would like think, one where several times. I've where heard women who pose, yeah. I like the one where, where she's lying down pouring the um, oil on her. That's See, my that favorite one. that one wasn't approved. That, yeah, you, know, you, sa- yeah, you that. said that a lot of the pictures you did not approve. You had I approval. Approve and they, uh, why don't you like the picture of you pouring oil over yourself? Because I'm pouring oil over myself. 
But here's a guy who enjoys it. Because there are these so such great pictures, like really arty, like rolling in the grass with his like. But maybe they don't turn guys up. Girls don't realize. It's not an art magazine. Yeah, it's for guys to pleasure themselves. That was my whole thing. I'm gonna change Playboy. You look great in it, and and you know what? You know, I know what you're saying. Well, I'm pouring oil over myself, but so what? Just I poured the oil over myself, so that's what you get. That's what you get. That's right. Do a trim just a little bit. Uh, she needs to what? Trim? Thing. You, know what? Now, you know what? I'm glad what? he I'm brings that up. The... I was going to say, I looked at the pictures. You're very attractive. You know that. You know I find you attractive. Uh -huh. You know? But why all the hair? <laughs> why not? It's natural. That's no. who guys I Guys don't like that. I'm not doing it for guys. Yes, you are. Not really. You don't think so? No, Playboy magazine? Like, you know, a few uh -huh. guys. Did the, like did the Playboy people? that broke up with me and like, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know. Do you think that, do you think that, um, uh, uh, what? Well, well, well <laughs> no, I'm trying to word this. When you're doing this thing, don't you think, gee, I want to look a certain way? It's hot. Don't you think? I think it's hot. I mean, Too much on. hair is not hot. It's not too much, though. What about now? If no, you were to pull your pants off right now, would you have a lot of hair? Yeah. You would? Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't like that. Why don't you trim yourself with that cigar cutter? <laughs> <laughs> Use that. Exactly. If you pleasure yourself, but I'm not into that whole shave thing. It's like you know, it's all oh, part it's of so the hot. It's all part of the fake tits, no boobs, pubic boobs, hair. fake like, boobs. We're getting so far away from women. Yeah. You know, we're getting so far away from like what a woman is, and it's become this like other thing that isn't a woman. It's this shaving is good. Thing. Guys should I shave down too. Woman. I'm a woman. I have hair on my stuff. Right, <laughs> and you want to keep that hair. <laughs> yes. So you're going to fight for that hair. <laughs> but you shave the hair under your arms. Right. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? Oh. No. <laughs> now, the, you I've shave the hair. I've never shaved it. You're you don't shave the hair under your arms? Let me see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's got to come off. Tarzan. What's the matter with you? Well, you don't have a lot of hair on your body, do you? Not a hairy girl. No. 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 It's not that bad. I mean, really, it's not. You haven't seen some women. All right. Now, I've heard why. <laughs> you know, I have, like, this assistant, Jenna, and that's. I've heard a million wild stories about you. I'm going to name them. You tell me if they're okay. true or false, and let's, right. let's have this it right is, out. Uh, All right. Be you true or false? All right. <laughs> you once raped a girl at a bar with a dildo. Oh. True. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah. That is true. True. Why? Oh, now, what was that about? Wait a minute. I was against the law. Twiggy had this dildo, and it's this chick from Spin, and I didn't really stick it in or anything. I right. I was pretending. Oh, you were pretending <laughs> yeah. to, so you didn't really oh, rape okay. her. And okay. she was pretending right. to like it. You yeah. lost yeah. your virginity to some it's, uh, one of the dudes in the Lemonheads, Evan true. Dando. That's true? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. When was that? No, How I'll old tell were you, you something. I'll tell you something about the press. Everything is true. Everything is true. Everything is true. You're I don't the care. Only one the people that say, you it's know, not it's, true. A, it's not true, no. Right. No. They <laughs> don't no, it's true. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> now, now but how I old were you when you lost your virginity? I'm gonna make a stand on that. Yeah, how old 16. were you? Sixteen. I was good. It was a good age. I was you know, I'd been mm -hmm. living alone for a Was while. he good in bed? No, and afterwards I was like, "Is that it? <laughs> wow, be longer." You would think that there's a guy who longer. maybe had some experience that he could have no, given you a good one. It was bad. It was, was it painful? And he broke up with me four days later. And I was depressed for like six months. Was it painful? No. Were you in love with him? Yes. You were. Well, well at least what you think is love. No, I was like lying in bed, like banging the bed, like hysterical. Like I would like lie there and I'd think about it. And yeah. that's why you think was, you were in love. And I'd like jolt out of bed and just like, oh, yeah, and well, just like. So uh, if you suffer after they leave, stalked, you're in love. I stalked him. Right. <laughs> you, you, you peed in bed after sex. What? According to an ex-boyfriend. No, that's not true. Not true? No. Okay. Some guy poured pee on me and, or like, said it was pee. <laughs> I see. So <laughs> I jumped up on his bed and I peed on his bed. And All right. Bed. Okay. So that's finished. Th okay. th th that, so that story is somewhat true. Was, <laughs> there's like always 15. some truth to it. All right. Yeah, there's some truth to everything. <laughs> All right. Let's go I to... I said the girl, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You um you forced a girl to kiss you during a spin magazine photo shoot. Spin? Anything like that? No. Okay. No. You Maybe never no. forced a girl to kiss you. Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh, you did that. Oh. All right. No kidding. So what are you by? I think I'm just confused. You are. So it's like, it's like young women go through. Have you had good sex yeah. with a man yet? Yeah. You have. You have. You've had had good sex yeah, with a man. So yeah, ever yeah. since the guy, the first guy, you've I've had some. I made it a mission to find good sex. Right. So you did find good sex. I found good sex, and then. Have you found good sex the with a woman? Is that? Mm, occasionally. 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 But really. it's more likely to happen with a guy. It's more likely. Saying. It's more likely not to happen with anybody. Oh. You're lucky if it happens. I but see. Right. Know. It's hard to find a good it's partner. It's hard. Right. But you know what? It, it's you got to find the right chemistry. Like, oh, wow, that guy's so talented. He can do this and that. Yeah, it's got to be like, you know. Ever do stuff on. with your best friend, Courtney Love? 
No. Never. Would you I like to? Want to? No. You don't want her? <laughs> I do sometimes. It depends. It depends. Have on you suggested you to her that you try something? No. You never have. Why are you not more uh, bold about it? Why not just say, Courtney, you're you're crazy. I'm she crazy. She would dominate it, and I like to be dominating. You like I to dominate. I like to dominate. Okay. She would dominate. All right. All right. You are reported to regularly go out brawless and dance on tables and rub up against strange men and flash people. <laughs> Is this true? Yeah, maybe for like a week. For a week. Yeah. Flash people. It was a phase. flash. People, what yeah. do you think that is? You just want attention? Yeah, it was all all that stuff is like literally everything you've just said is mm. like all the stuff is based around a three month period. I see. And and, and you're over that. You're not that wild. Yeah. I see. But I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm like I'm right. really here's one honest. here's one you know, I like your honesty. Mm-hmm. In fact it makes me want to look at your naked <laughs> pictures more. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, I'm home alone looking at Playboy anyway. Uh, is that right? That's right. At 15, <laughs> you were nabbed by the Los Angeles police for joyriding in a car that you stole from the former Miss USA, yes. <laughs> Shanna Mokler. Okay, I had to get out of there. I had to leave this apartment. You left it, you took the car, I and the police... The she gave me the car. All right, and no pr- no, fi- no uh, charges, charges were filed. No charges. No okay. charges... Well, no, she didn't file charges on me, but okay. I wasn't. Ha- I didn't have a license or insurance or anything. All right. And I was. That was even before I moved to New York. Now, why were you fighting with your half sister Mackenzie Phillips for so long? Now, you've made up now. Now you're friends. But what was the fight about? We just didn't get along for a long time until I was about twelve. Really. Yeah. Jealousy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And for a while, there were people t- uh, giving reports saying that Mackenzie was your mother. Excuse me. Yeah, really? there were false yeah. reports saying that Mackenzie was your mother, right? Is that true? No, I've never heard that. I made that up. I want to see maybe <laughs> I can get something going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get you two on the outs again. All right. right. China I Phillips, you, you. Oh, China Phillips, so you always had a good time with, right? No, 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 no. You China, were on the outs with her, too? Yeah, I didn't get along with either of my sisters for a while, and now we're like, you know. Right. You have hip. other sisters. Too. I mean, there's no. so many kids, there's aren't there? There's two stepsisters that are Iranian. Oh, okay. And you, you say Don't you... Don't consider them real family. You <laughs> say in Playboy you like a man with a belly. Yes, I do. Well, you're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Uh, I got that going on. It's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> All right, and also it says do here... Do you like older now. men because, you know, you're looking for that father figure kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, she digs, she digs older men. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got some kind of thing going with me, yeah. I can tell. Right? Am I right or am I wrong? Uh, I don't know. I'll be honest. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right, listen to me. It also says here that your boyfriend was uh, Elijah Allman, Elijah Blue Allman, the son of oh, Cher you went out with him? and he, Greg Allman. Is that true? You went out with him? admit that we were dating. I don't know what it is. It's Why? Why wouldn't somebody mean. admit to your He's beautiful a mean girl? Person. He is mean. mean. He's mean. Is he mean like his father was mean? Yeah, he's yeah. a mean guy, and he's and he's. But I love it. I love Elijah. Why is Cher such a loud mouth? Always talking about how wonderful she is, and yet she has a son. You say who's mean? He's just mean a little bit. He's mm. a little, you know. He. Do you think he's angry because he's the son of someone famous and has to live in the shadows? No, he lives in this gigantic house, like the right. biggest house on the planet, right. in Malibu, in right. his mom's house. Mm-hmm. And you know he's got a g- his little band with they're like you know that are going nowhere. Rock music. Rock music. Do you, do you know Cher? Yeah, I met her a couple times. You met her a couple of times. Did you like her? In the morning, walking Which into the kitchen. Oh really? Mad dogs me. And you mean another word? She what approves. What is mad dogging you? Oh. She gives you the evil eye. Yeah. Yeah. You slept in my house last night. I know. With my what son. Don't you do it. Don't you feel funny <laughs> sleeping at the house and then running into Cher in the morning? <laughs> Every time I've run into her, I never slept with him the night before. Right. But she doesn't know that. She doesn't know that. She right. Like she hasn't slept with anybody. <laughs> I know. I mean, come on. It hasn't happened to her. Right. So did you talk to Cher, or she would just give you the evil eye? Uh, you know, she'll be like, "Hey," and I'm just like, "Hi, how are you?" That must have been a very uncomfortable right, experience for her and for you. Yeah. Really because because Cher probably wants her privacy, and then she's got mm-hmm. some chick running around the house. And I think she gets it every day. There's like a new girl because oh. like that. I see. Yeah. I see. So see. always a stranger in the house. That is uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I told my kids, you're not allowed to sleep anywhere. I don't want to meet them. <laughs> but it's like you know, when you've got like a 23 year old son, you can't say like you know, you can't bring girls home. Yeah. Well, maybe he should get his own place and get a job. Yeah. Justin, you're on the air. Hi, Bijou. Hey. Hey, this is Justin from Stage Door. What you doing with yourself? Do you know hey. this guy? Yeah, Justin. Uh, well, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> I used to call her up and, and speak speak to her all the time. Well, yeah. So, what do you want to say to her? What's up, Justin? I just remember one story. Uh, oh, you, no. Do you remember Bijou? Uh, remember I was 10. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. But I wanted to know if it was true or not. Like when I robbed the canteen? No, not robbed the I canteen. I did that at my camp. But, uh, <laughs> I emptied the whole place up. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, you're wearing the raincoat. <laughs> Sir, can you tell the story <laughs> I'm dying here? What? Can what you talk? No, 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 no. You, an went, you went down into the cafeteria wearing nothing but a raincoat. 
Yeah. And you uh, opened it up and like started walking around naked. <laughs> Did you do that? I don't know. I might have. Do you like showing off your body? Do you like walking around Maybe naked? Tyler tried to rape me. <laughs> I swear to God. No, do you like walking we around? We went to camp together, and she was wearing this big pig, this big white dress and these big boots, and she would lift her skirt up, and she'd go, Pee-doo, and she'd, like, run really? me around camp. Really? Well, like I don't think that's camp. Well, she, that's not rape. All these, no, she all would, these like, famous you know, kids basic, running around naked. All famous kids running around naked. Around naked. Each other. <laughs> and Steven Tyler came to the camp. <laughs> Steven Tyler came and, yeah. and hung yes, out? Yes, yeah. I remember that. I remember you remember that, that day? Yeah. All right, well, that's the kind of camp I should have been sent to. I went to a prison camp. Nobody showed up. Larry, go ahead. You're on the air. Bijou Phillips. Hey, Bijou. Hey. Hey, I'm from Florida. Quickly speak. Hey, the, the slowness kills me. <laughs> hey, how do I find your picture on the website? Uh, well, um... She's in Playboy. That's what Playboy. she's promoting. Oh, okay. Punch in Playboy or punch in my name or... All right, hey, you like to ride fast uh, speedboats? Fast speedboats, yeah, I do. Yeah, I got one that goes 160. Uh, look, you know. This Are you trying to very date her? Fascinating, but All right. hey, baby. <laughs> Sean, go ahead. Bijou, how are you? All right, come on. Sexy voice. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes, uh, are you friends with Claire Dane still? Yeah, I yeah. love Claire. Oh. Hi, Ben and Claire. Claire's a good actress. How Claire's much the greatest. How much do you love her? What are you Excuse trying to me? imply? <laughs> what are you trying to imply? Well, actually, I'm a DJ out in L.A. and. Uh, mm -hmm. They used to come to the club every night and lick each other all over. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I've only hung out with Claire in L.A. once, and it was at the Chateau, and it was for, like, a minute. A minute, and the, you know no one was licking, licking each other. I've never even gone out to a club with Claire. Sir, uh, she says you're lying. Um, we well go to, like, Della Guarda. <laughs> you know? Any day you can cut my penis off, and uh, Mackenzie uh, Phillips said she's going to eat you. Who did? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. I'll get no, out of here. What? All right. So uh, you dated Leonardo DiCaprio. That's no, every girl's dream. Did. That's not true. No. Uh, but Elijah is true. Yeah. Um, and it says here, according to Details Magazine, you are bisexual and you're currently in love with a woman. Is that mm. true? For a minute, I did a little affair and it really affected me. <laughs> All right. So you were in love w with a woman and you were honest about it. Yeah. Now you're not in love with a woman. Yeah, it was a moment. Right. <laughs> I was like, I'm gay, I swear. Wow. <laughs> you don't know. Man, this is a this is this is an incredible life for only be you're, you're 19, right? We went through a week where I called week. all of my friends and I'm like, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> right. <laughs> you just have to check with her from week to week. Is the feeling I'm yeah. getting? Yeah. Right. So on any given week, <laughs> you. <laughs> and recently, you were at a Grammy party with the following people: Christina Aguilera, and you, Courtney Love, <laughs> Howard Stern. And uh, Diane Warren, whoever that Diane is. Diane Warren. She's a s songwriter. Songwriter, oh, yeah. But <laughs> Sorry. But at a different party. All right. Uh, let's uh, go fun. to... And I started singing the song to Christina. We had a good time together, right? The bottle song? We hit it off oh, a little bit. Yeah. We hung we out a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. And Ralph was so bad. Yeah. He, like, totally... What did he do to... Who is it that got lost? And it was all... David like Spade. David Spade. But I've been talking on my pager to Ralph all the time. Well, he's got a lot of free yeah, time for I that. Yeah, I can see that Ralph is the kind of person you would eventually like to stab, you know? <laughs> 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 you'll, end up, you'll end up cutting his penis off with a cigar cutter. Uh, Milo, you're on the air. Hey, Howard F. Jackie. Right. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, tell that party, nice pretty lady there that she got a fine belly. Hey, um. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a fine belly. Yeah. What do you weigh? You probably don't weigh anything. I mean, what do you I weigh? I weigh myself. No, I weigh, weigh about what? <laughs> you! <laughs> Nobody cares about you. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you weigh, really? Oh, God. Wh I was with Tara. What was that, like 105? 105. She's very tall. How tall are you? 5'7". Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were tiny. No. I didn't realize you were 5'7". And, and, um, and you did these pictures in Playboy. You're proud of it. You like being naked, and you're excited about it. And this outfit you picked out took you hours to yeah, pick out. Is that right? Who made this outfit? Oh, God. Get close to the microphone. Help me. I don't know. I forgot now. All right. <laughs> and you're, you're presently not in a relationship with anybody? No. Who is Dominique Swain? Everyone says you admit to kissing. Who is Dominique uh, Swain? Dominique, I didn't even kiss her. And I'll admit if when I kiss somebody, but she did, we just kissed on the lips of Mr. Charles yeah. one night. She, we just did a movie together in Toronto called Tart. What uh, there's your uh, there's your cell phone. Who's calling you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. No one's there. Well. Just like a teenager, though, can't really? be separated from her phone. <laughs> why did you tattoo the word "daddy" on your ass? Because she can't find him. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Why did you tattoo "daddy" on your ass? Because uh, because out of David Blaine made me do it. Who did? David Blaine. Who is that? The magician? The magician? You've oh. been with him too? No, he's just my buddy. Oh. oh. 
but I don't know. I wanted to get daddy tattooed on my ass for a while as a joke because I thought it would be like, how wrong and funny would it be if I just had daddy <laughs> tattooed on my ass? Like, who does that? Right. Boy trash. Uh-huh. So it's comic. It's for comedy reasons only. <laughs> and when you did, when Playboy approached you to be naked, did at first you say, hey, that's sexist, I don't want to do it? You seem like no, you're sort of a like feminist. Yeah, I was like kind of not into it. And then I decided, well, if I can control it and maybe I can make Playboy a better place for the women of the world. But it turned out you couldn't control it. I couldn't control it. You ended up <laughs> you pouring know. oil all over yourself. Yeah, but you know, the pictures are, you know, not Playboy. I think your pictures are beautiful. I think you're a beautiful Do woman. You think I think you look not great. Playboy. What? No, they're very Playboy. <laughs> no, but they're, you know, they're different. They're yeah, not okay. like, you know. You're naked and you have oil and you have, yeah. and you, you, will, you know, oh, maybe you have a little more hair <laughs> yeah. than you should. Okay. Uh, That's how 70s. it's different. They're 70s. Well, I, well, I missed that. Tell me they're different. Tell me they're different. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Uh, Sean, go ahead. You're on the air. One last question for Bijou Phillips. Uh, Bijou, is it true you got into Playboy because uh, you slept with Hugh Hefner? Did you sleep with Hugh Hefner? Yes, that is true. No. <laughs> you did not. You did no. not sleep with him. Is, or, or 73. is it true you were able to go to the, the party with Howard because you slept with him? <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. So no. tell us what, what really happened. What was what? Howard like? What, what, yeah. What and was how I big like? Is he? <laughs> Howard. How is was really I in a bed? Woman. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. What happened? I was I was with you for the night with uh, oh, Courtney and a bunch of other people. Sparrow. How long did he live? Sparrow. Courtney. And what else? And you did end up in my room, actually, yeah. but with a lot of other people. Oh, yep. I can't believe you actually ended up having a little after party. I can't believe Howard just said it. I really didn't. I kicked everyone. No, no, I told that on the air. I told Robin that on the air. Yeah, he didn't He didn't say he had her. Oh, stop being jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Robin is this guy is so <laughs> evil. Jeez, you're lucky you're you didn't your eyes out already. <laughs> <laughs> you're evil. Yeah, Robin doesn't like it when you're alone That's with me in a right, hotel room. With you and Howard, I'm very upset. She's got the goddesses putting spells on you right now. Oh, no. All right, thank you. I love you, Jackie. I mean, uh, Howard. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> you refuse to read your dad's autobiography, don't you? Yeah. Why? You don't want to know that much about him. Well, actually, I actually <laughs> got a copy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, because he told me not to read it when I was a kid, and that sort of, like, stuck. Weren't you curious to sneak out and read about your father? No, because, you know what? If he didn't want me to read it, I didn't. Well, your father's a great artist. We all know that. Yeah. And uh, he, you once threw a dog out a window. Why would you do that? What? Did you ever throw a dog out a window? No. You did not? See, so you should deny that rumor. Okay. All right. Is that a rumor? <laughs> yeah, I, I love don't know. my dogs. <laughs> I have a little, th- I've got a little new puppy named Sweet Pea. Were you ever a stripper in Atlanta? No. You were not? Okay. No. Well, that's, all the, uh, that's all the stuff I had on Wow. You. And you answered everything <laughs> honestly. You're a good interview. Yeah. Yeah, I like you. You're nice. God, dog out a window. Don't you think she's kind of nice? She's yeah, very okay. sweet. Yeah. Thank you. She wants to throw a human out a window, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you know, humans you are fair game. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, go see Bijou in uh, Playboy. You were nervous about the interview, but you calmed down, and now you're having fun, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was really nervous. All right. You had a good time? What's so nerve-wracking about this show? Because, you know, it is. It's, you know, hmm. you never know what's going to happen. Right. Really? It's scary, yeah. And nothing My happened? My dad even called me when he found out I was going to do it, and he's like, you better not take your shirt off. You know, since he's sobered up, he's no fun. He is no yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. Mr. Body. He's, but you know what? Let's let's just be honest here. Sobered up. <laughs> he's not well, sobered he's up. He's got that new liver. Right. You know, he's been test driving. I, I say you got a new liver. Go out and test it. <laughs> he's got a black woman's liver. Yes. Yes, he uh, does. Uh, teetotaling, teetotaling black woman. Some poor yeah. black woman died. She had a completely clean liver. She never took a drink in she her life. She was this religious yeah, woman right. who never drank. And this liver <laughs> is now in Papa John Phillips freaking out. <laughs> it's like, what happened? <laughs> it's dancing. Right. <laughs> it's my brain. You know, it's like I fucking. How is your father? Is he okay though? Is he is he functioning all right? Is your father okay? Yeah, he's all right. He's, okay. you know, delusional. And well, tell him I said hello. He's delusional. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't? <laughs> I'm delusional. I'm completely delusional. He's not well, is what you're saying? He's in and out. But he's, you know, he's a good person. He's, you know, there. He's, I love him. All right, there you go. Keep telling yourself that. Like <laughs> I, love I love him. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bijou, we all look forward to reading uh, Playboy magazine, reading your comments and looking at your pictures. I well, I looked at them, and they are beautiful. I recommend that everybody get it. More. He's married to an Iranian woman now? Yeah. Wow. And mm-hmm. he calls her nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Does he really? That's funny. Oh, dear. He's like a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> he always was no, funny. He loves her. He loves her. I don't know why. Well, your father's a lot of fun. He is. Had many a great so time with him. She wouldn't walk China. He wouldn't, she wouldn't let him walk China down the aisle because he had to walk with Michelle. 
Mm. Oh, dear. Right, well. You I'm know, the thing that happens when you have all these mixed families. Does she have a mustache? <laughs> what are any women do? <laughs> no. Does she okay. wear that whole headdress and everything? or? No, she just, you know, she's like... Do you do the Playboy to sort of jumpstart the career in a sense? Like you're doing movies now, and well you're. See, I thought the record was going to jumpstart the career, but then right. the album, you know, that didn't happen. I never heard so the album. Go buy it. I should listen it to is it. Out. Oh, what is the name yeah. of the album? I'd rather eat glass. I'd rather eat glass. Yeah. I should listen to it. Yeah. Uh, do you like it? Are you happy with it? Yeah. What kind of music are you into? That I'm, I'm into. I'm into like Billie Holiday, Ricky B. Jones, Joni Mitchell, like. Zeppelin. And that's what you the know, album like is like? Stuff. No, right. The album's, you know, it's like, a, it's, it's pop rock. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I'll check it out. And when did you put that out? When did I put that out? <coughs> like last year. Last year. Like so you're going to work on another album? Two years ago. Yeah, I'm writing a new album now. It's like okay. not a star country type of thing. All right. Mm -hmm. Here's Dan. One last question for Bishop. Dan. Take it off. Take it off. Ah. Take it off. <laughs> you wanted to take, take her top off. off. All right. I'm surprised your father would care if you took your top off on this show when you were in Playboy. What would be the difference? I don't know. It's a pride thing for him. Okay. Well, tell tell him you kept it on. Okay. <laughs> you know, you, you were dying to take it off, but you kept it on. All right. Well, Bijou Phillips, thanks for coming in. Thanks my new for buddy. Me. And uh, tell him he won. Okay. He, you, you kept your top on. And we're going to be back right after these words. Hey, Bijou, is there any way, is there any way we could see the, the daddy tattoo? No way, no way. But it's in, you know it's in it's printed places. Oh, is it really? Okay. Yeah, you can find it. You can take like a, like a picture out of a magazine of it, and then you can just put it up to the camera and pretend. Right? I guess that's what we'll do. Okay. All right. But you had a good time in there. Yeah, it was really fun. Do you think do you think your dad was listening? I hope not. I doubt it. He doesn't. It's LA. He doesn't get up that early. But he'll probably find out about it and hear about it. He didn't speak to Mackenzie for like a long time because she said something on it this show. Oh, really? Yeah. So you think that'll happen to you? Yeah, yeah it could. All right. Well, thanks for coming down. Yeah. But I said I loved him, right? Yeah.